Hello, military and aerospace enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, Deep Dive Defense. Over here we take a deep look from unusual angles, which may challenge your mind. So let's dive right in. Today's topic is on the recent Soleiman 402 upgrade the Iranian army has developed for the US-made M60 main battle tank, which was originally designed in the 1950s. Before the 1979 Islamic Revolution, Iran acquired around 500 samples of the M60A1 variant from the United States during the 1970s, making it one of Iran's primary heavy armor assets throughout the 1980s Iran-Iraq War. However, by contemporary standards, the M60A1 variant is considered outdated. Its armor is woefully inadequate against modern battlefield threats, and its lack of a stabilized main gun system severely limits its effectiveness in current conflict scenarios. While the M60A1 can be compared to other tanks of its era, such as the German Leopard 1, which was delivered to Ukraine roughly a year ago, or the T-62 tanks that Russia has recently reactivated from deep storage, the larger and heavier US tank can be seen as an inferior design when compared to its German and Soviet contemporaries. Various countries have made significant efforts to enhance the performance of the M60, such as the Israeli Sabra upgrade, which was exported to Turkey and licensed there for the Turkish M60T upgrade. These upgrades also included improving turret armor, but they encountered significant challenges. Due to its shaping, the turret design of the M60 doesn't easily accommodate Explosive Reactive Armor ERA, as effectively as Soviet designs like the T-55 and T-62. Significant modifications were hence necessary to sufficiently enhance the turret's armor protection via addition of ERA. This inherent design challenge led Turkey, and later Iran, to consider developing entirely new turrets for the M60. In earlier Iranian upgrade projects, the turret of one of the M60's predecessor, the M47, was replaced with a T-55 turret equipped with an upgraded main gun and ERA. Even whole new turret designs were developed in those efforts, which didn't make much economic sense. To avoid the high costs associated with completely replacing the turret, the Iranian army's self-sufficiency jihad organization initiated the Soleiman project to upgrade its remaining M60A1 fleet. Before this project, Iran had pursued several upgrade programs for the M60, including improvements to the fire control system and optical suite, as well as adding heavy ERA to the turret. However, none of these upgrades provided a significant and efficient enough performance increase to justify upgrading the entire fleet. The Soleiman project addressed the turret armor deficiency in two primary ways. First, it introduced an advanced fire control system with a fully stabilized main gun and thermal imaging optics enhancing the targeting capability of a tank that is less armored than its likely battlefield adversaries. The see first kill first concept is hence a central element of this upgrade. This concept allows the tank to detect opponents through its thermal camera at greater ranges, both day and night, and use the stabilized main gun system with an automatic fire control computer to engage targets while on the move, thereby reducing the risk of a successful enemy hit. The second crucial feature for enhancing the survivability of this relatively lightly armored tank is a soft kill active protection system, similar to the Soviet Shtora system. This protection suite includes imaging sensors to detect incoming threats from the frontal arc, primarily anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, which are relatively slow. It can then deploy an infrared jammer to obscure the missile's rear beacon, which is used by semi-active command line of sight, SACLOS, guided missiles, like the US TOW, to track the missile towards the target. Alternatively, the system's early warning capability for incoming projectiles can be employed to trigger the deployment of multi-spectral smoke grenades, which effectively obscure visibility in both the optical and infrared spectra. This soft kill technique is particularly effective against missiles like the US Javelin and Hellfire, which rely on infrared imaging or semi-active laser seekers. It is also effective against other threats, such as laser beam riding anti-tank missiles, like the Russian Cornet. By obscuring the tank, these measures make it significantly more challenging for such missiles to achieve a successful hit. Despite these advancements in soft kill technology, efforts to enhance the M60's armor in this upgrade have not been neglected. Notably, the frontal section of the tank's chassis, or glasses, has been reinforced with heavy explosive reactive armor, ERA. This type of ERA, developed by Iran for the Karar main battle tank project, is believed to be similar in effectiveness to the Russian relict ERA. 
As a result, the frontal chassis protection has been significantly improved, rendering it more capable of withstanding contemporary threats. Unlike the Israeli Sabra and Turkish M60T upgrades, the Soliman project has armored not only the upper glacis, but also the large lower portion. Although the variant shown lacks ERA on its sides, it is possible that such an upgrade will be incorporated into the Soliman package in the future. As it stands, the tank's chassis is now well protected from head-on angles. The challenge of improving the turret's armor was addressed by focusing on the turret's side armor, rather than the more difficult to protect frontal area. This approach is logical, as statistically, many attacks on a turret occur within a 60 to 90 degree arc in front of the tank. Hence, weak points may be masked by the side turret armor in many statistically likely attack angles. Consequently, the portions of the Soliman upgrade which are not up-armored are often less critical than they may initially appear. Given that the likelihood of a hit in various areas of the tank follows a pattern of statistical probability, it is sometimes economically justifiable to forgo extensive protection for the last, for example, 20% of turret weak points in favor of more efficient design. An upgrade package which adds too much weight due to structural changes can easily lead to a weight increase that makes a new engine or other expensive modifications necessary. In the Soliman upgrade, the Iranian army has followed the cost-efficiency-driven principle. The turret has been upgraded with ERA on its sides and around and above the main gun, while the smaller areas, such as where the Shtora-type infrared jammers are mounted, retain their original M60-level armor. It's possible that the high aspect angle of the M60 armor in those regions and attack angles is stronger than the rest of the turret. Against the relative slow-moving anti-tank guided missiles, the turret can even be rotated to shield its weak points if the new warning system is sophisticated enough. Thus, the large side ERA panels can act like a shield, which can be turned towards the incoming threat. This add-on armor package is designed in a way that the side ERA panels are externally covered with sheet metal a concept reminiscent of the Russian T-14 Armada next-generation main battle tank. Beyond the armor, the firepower of the M60 has also been significantly enhanced. The 105mm gun on the Soliman M60 upgrade can now fire relatively modern armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot APFSDS rounds, capable of penetrating around 500mm of rolled homogeneous armor RHA. This level of penetration is effective against many contemporary threats. Additionally, the 50 caliber M2 Browning machine gun is now mounted on a remote-controlled automatic system, operated by the tank commander via an optical system that includes a laser rangefinder and a thermal imager. When combined with the upgraded thermal imaging camera for the gunner, this gives the tank a hunter-killer capability. In this operation mode, the tank commander can survey the battlefield identify targets, and pass them on to the gunner, who can then identify and engage them using the better gunner optics, all while the commander continues to search for the next target. This gun mount may also be equipped with, or receive in the future, an automatic engagement system to counter incoming FPV drones. The automatic gunner fire control system can independently track targets and uses inputs like wind sensors to enhance long-range accuracy potentially extending the effective engagement range of the M60 to over 2 kilometers. The engine of the M60 has also been reportedly upgraded, handling the increased weight better and improving the important mobility for survivability element of the upgrade. A futuristic-looking sheet metal gun shroud has been added around the barrel of the 105mm main gun in the example shown in the summer of 2024. This shroud helps reduce the thermal signature of the gun after firing, especially from an ambush position, thereby increasing the tank's survivability. Overall, this upgrade offers a cost-effective solution for modernizing the M60, avoiding more expensive options like a completely new turret, heavily modified turret structure, or advanced gunner optics with a complex mirror system, as seen in the Karar upgrade for the T-72. While those options offer higher performance and robustness, they are less suitable for a low-cost upgrade. Given Iran's remaining fleet of M60A1 tanks, estimated to be between 200 and 300 units, the Soleiman upgrade is a cost-efficient solution that significantly enhances the performance of these legacy tanks. Emphasis on fire support roles instead of offensive armor breakthroughs and raids has cemented its firm place in ground warfare during the Russia-Ukraine war. On both sides, legacy main battle tanks like the Leopard 1 and T-62 add crucial firepower to lower unit levels.
so that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video and like our work, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. We will try our best to answer your comments. Your support would be greatly appreciated and motivates to produce more content in the future. Thank you, and have a great day.